Hello and welcome to our virtual time clock training series. In this video, we'll be covering quick setup of virtual time clock for first time users. We'll learn how to add employees, assign overtime rules, configure your payroll period, and then begin using the time clock. So for this video, we're gonna assume that you've already downloaded and started a free trial from our website so that you can follow along. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna choose open company to set up our time clock. And the first window that's gonna come up here is uh, the option to add users. So you could either import employee names if you have a text file or a QuickBooks file. We're gonna go ahead and just click add users to uh, add our first employee. And we're just gonna enter a first and last name here. All the other additional information is completely optional, so we'll skip that for now. I'm gonna choose save and close. So now here in the user window, I can choose to uh, create a password if you're gonna password protect the time clock. Uh, but if I don't, you'll notice there's a little message over here that employees are gonna be prompted to create their own password the first time they use the time clock. So we'll go with that. Now, if you wanna add more employees while you're here, just click new user, and then you can go ahead and uh, create as many employees as you need. So let's go ahead and set up our overtime rules. So at the very top of the window, I'm gonna click on the show all button. And this is gonna take us to our, uh, our configuration with all of the setup options that you have available. So I'm gonna click the overtime button. And the overtime window comes with uh, three predefined rules that you can use. Um, you can also create your own rule down here at the bottom, or you can modify one of these rules if needed. Uh, for us, we're just gonna pick weekly only. And to assign a user to this rule, we're gonna click edit in the assigned users box and go ahead and select our new employee and save the changes. So now Jack is assigned to this rule. The next step is gonna to be to set up our payroll period in virtual time clock. So I'm gonna go back and choose show all again. And this time I'm gonna choose payroll settings. Now the most important thing here is you want the virtual time clock pay period to match the pay cycle uh, that you pay your employees. So we're gonna change it from the default of weekly to semi-monthly. That works for us. So I'll go ahead and choose apply. And then I'm gonna close this window altogether. And that's gonna take me back out here to the administrator in and out list. So this is my, my quick view of all the employees. And you'll see here our new, our new user, Jack. So if I click on Jack, I can go ahead and start him on the clock. And as an admin, I can go ahead and change his start time. Uh, and that way, if he missed a punch, like in this case, he doesn't have to start at you know, the current time, I can change it to 8 a.m. I'm gonna click start, and now Jack is on the clock. Um, so that's available in admin mode. Let's go ahead and flip the time clock over to user mode. We're gonna go to file, turn administration off, and now the time clock is in user mode, and one of the ways you can tell is because there's no toolbar with options up here at the top of the window. So if I'm Jack, and I'm gonna come up to the time clock for the first time, I'm gonna click my name, and the first thing it's gonna do is ask me to create a password. I'm gonna go ahead and create a password. And once I've created a password, now I can go ahead and uh, clock in or clock out. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and stop my time, put in my password, and now I'm punched out for the day. Now, if you're using basic edition, this uh, in and out list, we call it, is the only interface that's available. This is how employees will use the time clock. If you're using Pro or Network Editions, there's several other ways to display your time clock. So let's take a quick look at that just for your reference. So I'm gonna go to File, Turn Administration On, enter my admin password. I'm gonna go to the Configure menu again, and this time I'm gonna choose Display Groups. And over here you'll see the option for Interface, and right now it's the in and out board. I'm gonna switch that to the pin. And there's a little warning here that means uh, currently my employee does not have a numeric pin, so I'm gonna to need to set him up with one before he can use the time clock. So I'm gonna click apply. At the top, I'm gonna to click users, the user shortcut here. And for Jack, I can go ahead and modify his, his regular password to a numeric pin. Okay. And now it even tells me what kind of password he has. So to show you how this works, let me close this window, and then we're gonna put the time clock back in user mode. And now you'll see instead of a list of users, I have a pin pad, and that's just waiting for me to enter a pin. So I'll go ahead and do that here. 
So now you'll see you kind of have a personalized time clock and it doesn't show you anybody else who's on the clock. And I can start time, take a lunch, I can go to the action menu and view my time card, anything like that. Once I select an action like start, my time clock will close and it will wait for the next employee to go ahead and punch in. So that's it. Uh, we've, we've finished a quick setup of the time clock and you should be ready to start tracking employee time now. If you have any additional questions about virtual time clock, please visit our website to give us a call or send us an email to service at redcourt.com and we'd be happy to help.